uh, Danny, from your experience, um, your playoff experience, how big is it to, to close out a team when you have an opportunity, and, and especially when you're, you're facing uh, the chance of getting a week's worth of rest? Very important, especially if you have older guys or guys banged up. Um, obviously, we have a younger group, but we still have some guys. Um, I don't know if you've seen the game before before this one. We had some ankle injuries. Um, so that week would definitely help guys get you know their strength. Uh, some other guys get their rhythm. And it's always good to get rest. So it's very important not only to not give that group any type of confidence, but also for us to get some you know good rest um, coming into the next series. But we're not, we're not looking ahead at it by any means. Um, you know, we're looking at Washington next game. Not thinking about the next series. We're not skipping any steps. So we're focused on this series, and you know, hopefully, try to close out next game. Thanks, yep. Great job. Hey, Danny. Just as somebody who you know benefits sometimes from from him getting doubled and you know watching him go one on one against players, I'm curious what you think of you know Joel's decision making and when to attack and when to pass. His floor game was amazing tonight. Um, Obviously, some nights he's had struggles with it, with not so much scoring for us, but making plays um, and passing out a double team. But tonight, he you know he picked and chose his spots, found guys, found Seth, played the game, uh, made the right passes, made the right plays, and you know we shot well tonight. When we're shooting like that, we're very hard to beat. Um, but I think the reason why we shot so well is because of a lot of uncontested shots and because we moved the ball so well, um, and because of him making the plays he made. So. He played a great four, four game, four, floor game. Um, hopefully he gets, continues to get better because we know that other teams, with well, this team obviously we still have to play them, but throughout the year if we want to you know, be the end, last team standing, you know, other teams are going to send the same type of double team, same type of situations. Um, so we're going to need that from him, and then hopefully we can continue to make shots so he can trust us to make, you know, make those plays and passes out of the post. Lauren Rosen. Danny, you've played with a lot of great shot creators in your career. Where does Ben Simmons fit in among the other great creators that you've played with? How would you characterize him? Oh, he's definitely, you know, up there. He's probably my top. I said I played with some great ones, but he reminds me a lot uh, of Kalo, uh, Kyle Lowry, uh, pushing the pace and, and being able to, you know, get to the paint, but finding guys and, and kicking the ball ahead. Um, you know, he has that type of style of play. Obviously, other guys create shots off the double teams. Um, he gets more of, of double teams or walls in transition where teams try to build a wall and stop him where he's able to find shooters and create three-point shots for us. Um, so, yeah, he, he's definitely up there with creating shots and creating threes for our team when we know we're, we don't get a lot of them in half-court set. So he, he gets that, that pressure on the rim and also uh, creates a lot of, you know, perimeter um, opportunities for us. Well, Thinking back to kind of our Bridges question, uh, you faced obviously Joel a couple years ago in the playoffs. Well, mm -hmm. Is that really the biggest difference you see in him from from that time to now? Is just his ability uh, offensively just to see the floor and and dissect those double teams and everything? Well, he's coming a long way just all around. Um, he's a very skilled player offensively. He's always been good at that, but I think he's even more skilled offensively. And I said expand his game to uh, make plays and trust the system, trust his team. Um, so yeah, he's grown a ton in that aspect of, you know, not just trying to force a double team, but uh, finding ways to, you know, score as a group, not just for him, but for our team to score. And defensively, uh, being that, that rim protector, that rebounder uh, on that end of the floor, but and also knocking down the three. Um, you know, obviously he could shoot it, but he didn't shoot as many now. He's trusting a little more. He's shooting it a lot more comfortably now. And, um, you know, we're going to need him to stretch the floor for us. So, you know, him continuing to grow on that end, that's that part of the game, part of the series of, that part of his, his game is helping our team tremendously and just trusting us and, and allowing us and uh, us to be able to, you know, contribute when he does trust us. Yeah. Mike McGarry. Danny, the Wizards have tried several different strategies to try to slow you guys down offensively. None of it has really worked so far. What is it about you guys that you presented such problems for them on the offense end of the floor? Well, tonight we, we shot well, and any team in this league, if they get hot, they're hard to guard. Um, but I think the fact that we have a guy like Joel that can grow, you know, draw double teams in the post, Ben that push the pace and can draw double teams in transition, and Tobias, who also draws double teams in the post, we have so many multiple guys that can score and, and cause mismatches, um, and we have guys that can shoot around them. It's hard to guard. We have the tools uh, you know, to be very great. Um, 
we just have to do it night in, night out, trust our, ourselves, trust each other, and share the ball with each other. And hopefully, you know, shoot like that every night would be great. And, you know, if we shoot like that every night, I don't think there's many teams that could beat us. But um, even when we're not shooting defensively, we got to bring it. But the, the, the reason why we're tough to guard offensively is because of those three guys and what they can bring to the table and, and you know, the guys around us that can shoot. So it's, it's, you got to pick your poison type of thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, David. Thank you, guys.